appointment, she served as advisor of national development in the Ministry of Finance, Economic Affairs, and National Development. Let's welcome Dr. Gail Regerberg to say a few words. Thank you very kindly. Dr. Mohite, Dean of Basic Science, Mrs. Denise Simmons, Assistant Director of Student Services. Your being here is a privilege afforded only to a few. I implore you and your university, therefore, to go the extra mile to create more opportunities for those who are economically disadvantaged to allow them the privilege to pursue a dream that they simply cannot afford. I expect, therefore, that in the years to come, the International American University College of Medicine will become renowned not only for its academic excellence in medicine, but also for its benevolence and good corporate responsibility. I urge you in particular to offer more scholarships to nationals of St. Lucia who are desirous of pursuing a medical degree. Increasingly, St. Lucia is becoming an attractive site for offshore tertiary institutions. I understand that there are at least five or six medical students on island with several other institutions of higher learning. The government recognizes their contribution to the socioeconomic development of the country. Yours, therefore, is a very important role as we endeavor to develop our human resources and build capacity, particularly in the medical field. There are plans to facilitate your expansion and to strengthen your institutions to enable you to make an even greater contribution to the physiological and socioeconomic well-being of this country. Ultimately, this will be of equal benefit to all stakeholders. I am particularly struck by the ethnic composition of your class and your multinational character. Truly, globalization is no longer a subject of academic discourse, but is a feature of our everyday existence. You give meaning to the adage that we live in a global village, a borderless world where people from seemingly distant places can share in common values and experiences, where cultural norms are shared and we can transition from one corner of the world to another almost seamlessly. I am sure that St. Lucia has become your home away from home. I trust that at the end of your studies and as you return to your respective homelands, that you will speak highly of St. Lucia with affection and with fondness. I have spent the better part of my life in academia. As grueling as this may seem, this will be by far one of the most exciting and enjoyable periods of your life. You will forge professional relationships, partnerships, and friendships that will last a lifetime. Indeed, your mettle will be tested. You will experience emotional and spiritual challenges that can only be triggered by deep engagement with the various epistemological readings of the very nature of life itself. But you will also experience growth. Through it all, I can assure you that you will become a stronger, a better human being full of character and wisdom. Embrace every opportunity to learn. And remember that the sum total of education is not embodied in any one certificate. Knowledge and wisdom 
come in all forms from the most unsuspecting sources. Be humble, be polite, be true to self. I wish you every success in your career. Thank you. For those of you sitting here today thinking this journey is going to be impossible and that you can't possibly make it till the end, as Dr. Bugath would say, it's histologically, biochemically, anatomically, chronologically, pathologically, psychologically, embryologically, physiologically, systematically, possible, possible. clear? <laughs> A word of advice from us at the Fascinate. Please don't hesitate to ask us for help. Remember, we were once were sitting in the very own seats that you're sitting tonight and wondering if we were ever going to make it through. We made it so far. And now, upper classmates were there for us. On that said, I would like to invite Amina Reza this semester four to say a few words. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a pleasure to have uh, uh, all of you guys uh, coming here, the incoming class, especially the parents. Uh, I remember exactly a year ago, uh, I was in the same position, and uh, uh, especially the parents deserve a big applaud because the trust and the investments they put into the children to have the opportunities to come here and extend their studies towards the future. Um, exactly. I remember exactly a year ago my mother was here just like most of the incoming class parents and uh, it's, it's a very special moment but at the same time uh, over the past uh, year there are several things that I learned the most important thing, uh, well, before, on the hindsight, before I go any further, I wasn't planning on coming here and give a big speech about motivations and what you're supposed to do and, and so forth. We all know that. Uh, at the same time, I just wanted to just talk about my own personal experience. Uh, this program is very uh, condensed, very serious, but we have the pleasure of having wonderful professors and uh, if the work is done properly and a little bit of discipline and patience, uh, <laughs> stress management for that matter, <laughs> everything is going to work fine. Uh, but you know, it just you know, it takes a little bit of uh, management and so forth. Uh, coming here in my mid being in my mid-30s is a little bit different of an experience. I personally would um, I can't even imagine being in uh, my 20s and coming here, but more uh, applause and more power to those who have done this. And uh, again, I wish everybody well. Just be strong, do not get stressed. I know how it's going to be. Be calm and uh, listen to your professors. Uh, Dr. Mohiri, uh, well, I like, have a very special respect for him because we learned so much from him in a very um, systematic way. Dr. James, our uh, uh, biochemistry professor, his enthusiasm and his passion is so inspiring. I can name so many other professors, for instance, Dr. <laughs> I don't want to take all of your time. Uh, <laughs> well, every single one of them are very special. Dr. Kamala for uh, uh, microbiology. Uh, basically, the professors here have the passion, the desire, and the knowledge to just make every single student excel and basically shape their lives the way they want. I, I wish everybody well, and uh, again, don't get stressed. Enjoy this experience, because at the end, it's your life, and it, it, it is not about the momentary lapses. It's the long term. Enjoy it, and again, applauding the parents. Thank you. Thank you. 
Now I would like to call Rebecca Morris to say a few remarks on behalf of your class. said don't get stressed but yet I've only been here a week and here I stand <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of the first semester class I would like to thank you very much for this lovely gathering in our honor we are all delighted to have been chosen to be a part of the IAU family there is not a better place that we could have actually have applied to medical school than on the beautiful serene island of st. Lucia thank you so very much Know that we, as the first semester class of May 2011, will be looking for all our upperclassmen to give us guidance. We will glean as much as humanly possible from all of our professors and take up all of your time. <laughs> I actually asked a few of my classmates if there was any specific thing that they wanted me to say while I was up here. Um, I got a lot of input and one student specifically um, asked me to give a brown bag on nursing simply because for those of you who do not know me, I've been a critical care nurse for 13 years. So I will tell you something very short and sweet. You will live by a nurse and you will die by a nurse. <laughs> and in closing, I'd like to leave you with two things. The last Chinese meal that I had before I left the United States, of course I received a fortune cookie. I will share it all with you. It said, act as if it is impossible to fail. And finally, my favorite quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Shall I tell you the secret of the true scholar? It is this. In every man I meet, he is my master in some point, and in this I learn of him. Thank you. Thanks, Rebecca. Uh, Elena, not to embarrass you or anything, but I think your loosing zipper is open. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Yelena, don't you remember the rules? No open-toed shoes. And definitely no heels. No bright nail polish. And definitely no perfume during clinics. No short dresses. No shorts. No tank tops. No drugs. No alcohol. No stimulants. 80% attendance. No food or drinks during class. I'm not never got that message. <laughs> ah, too many things to remember, class. <laughs> Any questions, clarifications? <laughs> On that note, we would like to call Dr. James to present student awards and the vote of thanks. Good evening. We are fortunate to have had a rich harvest in terms of student achievement last semester. We're getting the results in new students. Two students excelled in the basic science program, while three students excelled in the USMLE Step 1 and Step 2. Okay. Very nice, and we're all very happy. <laughs> There's a train of awardees, so okay, let me go to the first okay, awardee. Our first awardee is...